morning children our imperial school of excellence is going to start the online classes and it's me neha tiwari i'm going to teach you science due to covid 19 we have taken the decision to start our online classes so without wasting our time let's start our first chapter that is nature what it is nature nature a single word you can explain nature related to means surrounding in which we live so our first topic of this chapter is environment environment what the word environment is derived from the french word environer environer which means to surround environment environer is a french word which means is to surround therefore environment refers to the surrounding which then which an organism exist in a single definition we can say environment is the surrounding in which an organism exist environment wo jagah hai jahan ped paudhe jeev jantu jo saath mein rehte hain unhe kya kehte hain environment next is composition of environment what it is composition of environment so the composition of environment like living and non living things or natural environment and artificial or man made environment are the components of the environment natural or man made there are two type of component of environment natural or man made you can say or you can say living and non living things just going further i want to discuss you a small thing or you can say i want make you remember a small thing the difference between living and non living things what are living things living things are those which can survive which can reproduce which can show locomotion or movement which can uh, change their places which can and non living things are which do not survive which do not reproduce which do not show locomotion a basic difference between the living and non living things are these so now come to the topic the man made environment consists of the element which are developed as the result of interaction between man and the nature like parks dam etc man made environment jo developed ho interaction between man and the nature is called man made environment like parks dam etc now next topic is ecosystem what it is eco system ecosystem is formed by the interaction of the community organism such as plant animal and human beings ecosystem is formed by the interaction of plants and animal and human beings they form a small community which is known as ecosystem etc with each other and with other non living component of the environment they form ecosystem before we go to the next topic a small important thing is given that is fact pile you have uh, just listen a word ecologist what is ecologist a person who study the ecology it is a subject a person who study the ecology means related to the environment is called ecologist जो पर्सन इकोलॉजी के बारे में पढ़ता है उसे इकोलॉजिस्ट कहते हैं और इकोलॉजी में हमारे क्या क्या आते हैं नेचर रिलेटेड थिंग्स इकोलॉजी इज द सब्जेक्ट इन विच वी स्टडी अबाउट नेचर रिलेटेड थिंग्स अंडरस्टूड इज इट क्लियर आई थिंक आई होप सो नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज इंटर डिपेंडेंस वॉट इट इज इंटर डिपेंडेंस वेन एन ऑर्गेनिज्म डिपेंड ऑन अनदर कंपोनेंट ऑफ एनवायरमेंट इट इज कॉल्ड इंटरडिपेंडेंस जब ऑर्गेनिज्म एक से दूसरे कंपोनेंट पर डिपेंड होते हैं फॉर देयर बेनिफिट्स लाइक सर्वाइवल फॉर देयर फूड एनी थिंग दे आर कॉल्ड इंटर डिपेंडेंसी जस्ट आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू एग्जाम्पल हाउ दे वी आर इंटर डिपेंडेंट लाइक वी नीड फूड फॉर देयर सर्वाइवल एंड फूड कम फ्रॉम प्लांट्स like we uh, as you all know your mothers cook the food daily at your home so where the food come from you buy from the market and where the market fruit uh, vegetable seller get it they get from the plants only so we that indirectly depend on the plant 
Now next topic is natural interdependency. There is an interdependency between natural and man-made environment. Animals need oxygen and water. Now I am going to tell you about the natural interdependency between nat between man and the environment. First point: animals need oxygen and water from the environment. What the animals need? Oxygen and water from the environment. Animals need oxygen and water from the environment. Next point. Plants need sunlight, heat, water, carbon dioxide for the process of photosynthesis. Plants, they need sunlight, heat, water, carbon dioxide from environment for the process of photosynthesis. What is photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is a process by which plants make their food. फोटोसिंथेसिस वो प्रोसेस है जिसके थ्रू प्लांट्स अपना खाना खुद बनाते हैं किसके किसके हेल्प से सनलाइट वाटर एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड व्हिच इज शोन इन दिस फिगर आल्सो प्लांट्स व्हाट दे डू दे टेक सनलाइट ऑक्सीजन कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड दे मेक देयर फूड व्हिच इज नोन एज एंड द प्रोसेस नोन एज फोटोसिंथेसिस नाउ नेक्स्ट पॉइंट एनिमल डिपेंड्स ऑन प्लांट फॉर फूड एंड shelter also animal depends on plant for food and shelter now plants depend on animal for pollination and dispersal of seed plants depend on animal for their seed dispersal Pla what the animals do sometimes they go for the grazing they some seed are stuck on their body when they move from that place and they go uh, from uh, they move from that place and they go to another place sometime it happens the seed fallen from their body some another uh, ground and they grow there so this process is known as dispersal of seed jab koi pedon ke beej kisi plant ki body ke help se kisi dusri jagah par ja kar gir kar dobara se sown hone lagte hain us jagah pe grow hote hain that is known as dispersal of seed what it is known dispersal of seed you can see here dispersal of seeds plants depend on animal for the pollination and dispersal of seed thus animals and plant are interdependent on each other in these four point we have see how the plants and animals are interdependent on each other how plants depend on animal and how animal depends on plant in these four point we have read these things ki kaise plants animals pe depend hai aur kaise animals plants pe depend hai now our next topic is living things depend on non living things how the living things depend on non living things is our next topic air water and soil sunlight are non living natural component of environment as we all know air water soil are natural no, uh, non living component means non living hai but they are not man made unhe humans ne nahi banaya air ko kya man ne banaya nahi soil ko kya man ne banaya no they are natural non living things understood they are natural non living things which are occur by nature but they are non living things that are called natural non living component understood so first of all we read about air as you all have read in class 4 also air has no color no shape and no size air do not have any kind of color any kind of shape or any kind of size it cannot be seen but it can be feel we, as you all know we cannot see the air where it is blow from where it's come we cannot see the air but we can feel the air and by with, uh, by the help of sense organ that is the part of the body skin as you all know we have five sense organ eye ear nose skin and tongue so we have five sense organ and we can feel the air with the help of our skin so air is the one of the most essential component as it contain 
various type of gases and we all know we have studied before also air is a mixture of gases and human beings need air to breathe and what they take they take oxygen for their survival from the air and now plants need carbon dioxide to make their food during the photosynthesis they take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen what the plants do they uh, they take carbon dioxide from the air and they give out oxygen means they inhale ox carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen to the environment and which is used by animals or human beings plants kya karte hain carbon dioxide lete hain environment se aur oxygen wapas se release karte hain jo ki use kiya jata hai animals aur human beings ke through now next is topic is water what it is water what is very essential to all plants and animal for carry out the life process in the body plants absorb mineral dissolve in water through the help of their roots as we all know water is a very essential part of the life which is help us to maintain many type of activities in the body like digestion of food and plants absorb मिनरल डिजोल्व इन वाटर प्लांट्स क्या करते हैं उन मिनरल्स को एब्जॉर्ब करते हैं जो वाटर में डिजोल्व होता है लाइक आयरन एंड अदर थिंग्स सो वट दे डू दे एब्जॉर्ब थ्रू देयर रूट्स फ्रॉम द सॉइल प्लांट्स क्या करते हैं जो सॉइल में वाटर प्रेजेंस होते हैं उनको एब्जॉर्ब करते हैं विद द हेल्प ऑफ देयर रूट्स प्लांट्स यूज वाटर टू प्रिपेयर फूड ड्यूरिंग फोटोसिंथिस एंड वॉट दे डू प्लांट यूज द वाटर ड्यूरिंग द फोटोसिंथिस टू प्रिपेयर देयर फूड वाटर ऑल्सो हेल्प्स इन डिस्पर्जल ऑफ सीड ऑफ प्लांट ग्रोइंग इन द और नियर वाटर वाटर वॉट दे डू दे डिस्पर्ज द सीड जस्ट नाउ आई टेल यू वॉट इज डिस्पर्जल ऑफ सीड मोमेंट ऑफ सीड फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर एंड ग्रोइंग दैट सीड सो वॉट इज हेल्प वॉट इज ऑल्सो हेल्प इन द डिस्पर्जल ऑफ सीड विच इज ग्रोन नियर द साइड ऑफ वाटर नाउ several life process in the body of animal require water for example water is required for carrying food to all the part of the body for obtaining energy ab hum abhi just humne aapko bataya ki water hum kuch life process mein bahut useful activities mein kaam aata hai just a example given here animal use water for carrying the food to all part of their body for obtaining energy वाटर क्या करते हैं एनर्जी को सप्लाई कर बॉडी में पूरे पार्ट में सप्लाई करते हैं उस एनर्जी को हम एब्जॉर्ब करके अपना वर्क करते हैं रिमूविंग इट फ्रॉम द एंड वॉट इज ऑल्सो हेल्प टू कलेक्ट द वेस्ट मटेरियल फ्रॉम ओवर ऑल पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी एंड रिमूव इट फ्रॉम आर बॉडी और वाटर क्या करता है हमारी बॉडी से वेस्ट पार्ट को कलेक्ट करके हमारी बॉडी से रिमूव करता है इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्वेट एंड यूरिन अंडरस्टूड वाटर कलेक्ट्स द वेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी एंड रिमूव इट फ्रॉम आवर बॉडी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्वेट एंड यूरिन दैट्स वाई वी कैन नॉट सर्वाइव विदाउट वाटर दैट्स वाई वी कैन नॉट सर्वाइव विदाउट वाटर वाटर प्ले अ वेरी वाइटल एंड एसेंशियल रोल इन द लाइफ सो टिल टू वाटर वी हैव फिनिश जस्ट रिवाइज इट go through the explanation once again that uh, so you can better understand if you have any kind of query, queries just contact to the link or ask me the question i want to give you some homework so please come to page number 8 which is here b define the terms understood just now i have define you what is environment understood what is environment so do the environment definition in your science copy science copy should be an interleave copy just remember ek side aapka blank page hoga ek side line nahi hogi wo aapki science copy banegi and you have to do this definition define the term first environment do it in your copy and the figure which is given on page number 6 listen it carefully the figure which is given on page number 6 this photosynthesis you have to make this picture 
this diagram in your science copy on the first page listen it very carefully draw this diagram which is given on page number 6 on your copy on the first page of the lesson okay have a nice day bye bye